Oh, I just can't wait to see who's going to be the first one to jump on. I love my tribe. Come on, who's going to be first? I love it, love it, love it. Oh, I, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I love it, love it, love it. Hello, hello, hello. Where y'all jumping in from? Hi, how y'all doing? I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Hi, y'all. Hello, thank y'all for stopping by. Thank y'all for jumping in for a quick second. Yes, thank you. I'm not going to be long. I just want to jump on and give y'all a little information today. How's everybody? I see we got investors on. Where y'all from? Jump in. Jump in and tell me where y'all from. Oh, is that the Bronx? New York? Biloxi? Mississippi? God bless. How's everybody? Thank y'all for stopping by giving me your most valuable asset. I'm looking a little rough. Class started this morning at 6.30. So I'm looking a little rough, but I'm okay. I'm all right. North Carolina. Ah, Trinidad, I think that is. Hello, hello. Thank y'all for stopping by Florida. I see y'all. I'm looking a little tired. Class is early this morning, but it was good. It was great. Memphis in the house. Thank y'all. Miami in the house. Thank y'all. Just wanted to drop in. Please hit the share button. Yeah, y'all please hit the share button. That's my tribe. They're going to hit the share button for me. Jacksonville, Arkansas. Oh, my God. Jacksonville, you got to reach out to me. We had a class today right here in Little Rock. Oh, my God. Jacksonville, reach out to me. Yes, yes, yes. You right down the street. Uh, Orlando is in the house. How is everybody? All right. All right. Okay. I just want to jump on. First of all, I'll tell y'all thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate y'all. We had a class today. It went amazing. And um, I, I wanted to jump on and just share something with you all. For you all who don't know, I'm PamBrownCordy.com from Little Rock, Arkansas, also known as the lady that owns her own subdivision, Covenant Code Community.com. 51 houses, trust but verify. Hit the link in my bio and Google Earth will take you to it, okay? So don't, don't take my word for it. Just hit the link in my bio and Google Earth to say, oh no, you can trust this when she's done that thing, okay? So for you all who are learning with me, for you all who are my students who are taking my online course, for you all who are uh, booking events to come down and learn with me in the center, I just want to say thank you. But today, uh, in class today, we had a teachable moment, and it's real life real estate over here with me. I do real life real estate, so you say, what's real life real estate? For me, I, I, can't, I, I can't separate them. It's all one, they all one and the same. When you start talking about building houses and, you know, trying to make sure everything is right in your home, you got to start with the foundation. So you got to make sure your foundation is right. Well, guess what? You better make sure your foundation is right in your personal life. You got to work on that, too. So real life is because uh, I take a lot of uh, the things that I've gone through in real life that allowed me to uh, develop and own a 51 home subdivision. Okay. So y'all going to get something for free today. Y'all going to get something from what people paid for today. They paid for it, all right? They paid for it from my class this morning, and they were like, oh, it's Courtney, you, you got to give us a minute now. You, you got us, like, almost on the cry. I was like, well, I'm not trying to make you cry. But it was a teachable moment. So I thought I'd share this story with you all because it, it was really befitting for the, the class today. Uh, I always say, you have never walked in anybody else's shoes. So since you haven't walked in their shoes and my screen is froze, I don't know why it froze. I hope y'all can still hear me and see me. If you can, give me some heart so I'll know that you guys can still hear me because my screen froze on me for some reason, you know. I, if I haven't learned anything, I'm learning the internet and technology, you know, can't, I, I can't control that. <laughs> I can't control that. So I don't know why it froze, but it's frozen. Uh, but if you can hear me, give me her. Oh, thank y'all. Look at y'all. You said we can hear you. Go on, keep going. Okay, thank y'all. Um, I have, oh, appreciate that. Thank y'all for kindness. Man, my tribe is just so kind. Y'all so nice over here to me. Y'all are so nice to me. Y'all keep me wanting to come back on. Y'all do. Y'all keep me wanting to come back on. But today in class, today it was a teachable moment. So I want to share this with you all. You never know what's going on in people's lives. You never know. And we were talking about real estate, and we were talking about how you can become a first-time homeowner, and we were sharing some of the techniques and how you can do it with no money down, of course. I mean, there's just so many different ways you can get into real estate, for sale by owner and flipping. You can just do so many different things. But when you have somebody that's sitting down, holding your hand, showing you how to do it step by step, that's the way I teach because I learn that way. 
Y'all know my learning style is dys dyslexic, so I go over things. I'm very repetitive. I keep it real simple. Uh, um, if you're looking for all the fancy and the, all of that, you probably want to go somewhere else. I like to keep it real simple. I like to make it simple. I like to go A, B, C. I go over it and over it and over it. Like that, that's my style. I learn that style that way, and I teach that way, okay? And so one of the things that was coming up today, and this lady was saying, and they were talking, and they were like, well, you know, just... It doesn't, you know, I understand how people, they say they want to own a home in this day, this day and time and this climate, and they don't own a home. It's just so many ways that you can. So I really think they're just lying. I said, really? She said, yeah, because it's just so much education out there. There's so many ways you can do it. There's so many different things you can do. And, you know, it's just no reason if you really want to own a home that you shouldn't. She said, so I just don't think they, you know, I just, I don't know. I don't think they're really serious about it. And I said, okay. I said, well, you know what? Let me tell you what I think about that. <clears throat> I said, I'm going to have to share. I said, I'm going to have to share you something. I said, so I'm not putting you on front street, so it's not anything uh, that's directed to you. It's directed to the comment in which you made. I said, um, you don't ever know anybody's story. You didn't walk in their shoes, and you don't know their story. So if you don't know their story and you don't know their life, how can you just say that? And she said, because it's all out there, it's all available, and it's all, mm-mm. I said, just because you see it that way doesn't mean that it is that way. Oops. Yeah, I said it. Just because what you think you see, you think it's real, it may not be real. I'm going to give you an example. I remember when I was a young girl, a young lady, and we were home, and this guy that lived next door, he came driving through the neighborhood going like 90 miles an hour, like 8.30 at night. I think he had a Corvette, and he was driving like 90 miles an hour. Could have killed somebody for sure, trying to get home. And I remember the adults and stuff talking about it the next day. And they were like, somebody got to do something. They drive too fast in this neighborhood. And I saw him last night driving like 90 miles an hour, coming around that curb. He could have killed somebody, da 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 da, -da. And I remember my mom saying something. She let him finish talking, and they were talking about just how unconcerned he was and didn't care nothing about the kids and the neighborhood and this, that, and the other. And my mom so quietly said with her wisdom, she said, yeah, he was driving really fast last night. She said, uh, the doctor called him. I was there with his mom at the house right next door. And the doctor called him and told him, if you want to see your mom before she transitioned, you, you, you better get here quick. You just got a few minutes. She'll be gone in a few minutes. You know, maybe 10 or 15 at the max. So he was driving 100 miles an hour trying to get, left his job trying to get home to see his mom one more time before he could, so he could touch her one more time while she was warm because he wanted to tell her bye. And he was driving, and he was driving 100 miles an hour. I remember when he pulled up, the car was just running. He jumped out the door. And um, the doctor said, you just missed her. She just transitioned. And he was just beating on that car. I remember he was just beating on that car and screaming and crying. He just missed her. But the people in the neighborhood were talking about how, what an idiot he was, driving so fast, don't care nothing about the people in the neighborhood, and somebody need to do something about that. You didn't even have a backstory. You don't even know what was going on in the story. You don't know he just lost his mom. You ain't, you ain't had a backstory. Or as the older people say, but I'll tell you how I said, you didn't have a backstory, the side story, the front story. You don't know. You don't know my story. You haven't walked in my shoes. You don't know my story. You just see me on Instagram. You don't know the good, the bad, the ugly, the in-between, the wonderful. You don't know nothing. You don't know my story. And just like I don't know yours. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to judge you with the hand of grace that I would want you to judge me with. So before you make that statement in my class with all these other students in here who want to be first-time homeowners and saying if they really want to do it, they could do it, you may want to check yourself. Take the temperature. Take your temperature. Because maybe just because you've been favored to know something that somebody else didn't know doesn't mean that they know it.
Maybe you thought they just driving fast like idiots and didn't know that they was trying to get home to see their mama and touch their mama who was dying of cancer at home one last time and touch her before she was cold. Just one last time. Oh, we had a great class today. We had an amazing class today. Hit the link in my bio to get connected to me. But you see, on Instagram, you're going to get it in class. Hit the link in the bio if you want to book a tour down here. We booking tours now from 9 to 18. You said from 9 to 18, I don't want them past 19. The classes are from 9 people to 18. No 40, 80, 9 to 18. We go from 9 to 18. 18 is our cap because I want you to be able to get me. I want you to get the individual me. I want to meet with you all, talk with you all, help you all. I want you to get me. When I go on Zoom, I'll do a big class. But when you come down here to walk my streets, walk the neighborhood of Central High, and you feel my energy, and I give you my energy, and you give me yours, and we have an energy exchange, I, I want to be able to, to hold you and touch you, and you get me. Because your story ain't my story. And I, at the end of the day, when you come and invest your time, energy, and money with me, I want to help you move the chain. I don't want you to just go away with a good feeling. If you want that, you can take a cow gun bath. Yeah, if you just want a good feeling, you can take a cow gun bath. I want you to feel good, but I want you to leave with some tools that can help you move the chain further. I want to introduce you to some people like I had today. They can say, okay, well, let, let's let's go through your, let's see what we got. I got an accountant here. Let's see where we are. I want to be able to help you move the chain. You want to own a home? We want to help you get that. You want to own a multifamily property? We want to help you get that. You want to build your own subdivision? We want to help you get that. We want to help you get that. And the only way to help you get that is to give you a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time with me. Okay? Because everybody different. Just because they don't own a home don't mean they lazy. Don't mean they didn't, don't, don't know what to do. It could be anything. You don't know. You ain't walk in their shoes. You don't know the backstory. You ain't walk in mine. You don't know my backstory. So the next time we decide to put our mouth on somebody, let's take the temperature. Let's take the temperature. He said, what do you mean when you said take the temperature? Let's take the temperature and say, you know what? We don't even know what's going on in their life. We don't know where they've been, where they're going, what they called to. We don't know nothing about them people. Nothing. This may be her first time being introduced to the fact that she could possibly be a homeowner. And then you just gonna try to kill, you just killed her with your words, even if you weren't trying. You just killed that energy, that excitement by saying, if you really wanted to do it, you could have been and done it. You don't know that. You don't even know me. You just paid to come and be with me, but you don't even know me. You don't even know me, baby. You don't even know me. Was a guy really driving fast, careless, reckless, didn't care about nobody? Or was he trying to see his mama one last time? and touch her while she was warm and say, I love you, mama, and I'll see you on the other side. This real life real estate with Pam Brown Courtney ain't going to change unless I'm changing for the better. I'm going to give y'all the real, the good, the bad, the great, and everything in between. And I appreciate y'all for hanging out. See you next time. Hit the link in my bio if you want to get connected. Hit the link in my bio if you want to join my classes. And even if you don't, thanks for showing up. I appreciate all the kindness y'all give me. I don't take it for granted. See y'all. Bye-bye. Thank you for the hearts. I don't know who giving me hearts, but thank you for the hearts. It means a lot to me. It's appreciated, and I want you to know it's appreciated because sometimes people don't tell you. Well, I ain't people. When you send me hearts and tell me you appreciate me being here, that matters to me, and I want to take a moment to tell you I appreciate you just hitting the heart button saying, lady, you matter to us. So thank you. Yeah, have a good one, okay? Bye-bye.